what's up youtube welcome back to another video on this channel and today we have the ola s1 pro so it's a long time due scooter from this channel and i got an invite from ola to experience their experience center so i asked them that why not i take an ola do a review and i visit the experience center so that's how scooter came to my mind so this video is going to be a quick video with two parts one is the dedicated unbiased review of the ola scooter and second part is the details about the experience center so first of all let's have a look into the scooter so this is the ola s1 pro variant currently the top of the line from ola actually if you look at the scooter i thought this is going to be a very small scooter but it's not like that it is actually a little bigger scooter why i said that because most of the scooters are uncomfortable for tall riders say 62 or 63 you're going to have a lot of trouble because your knee is going to touch the handlebar on this one actually this is not a problem at all by the way i'm 56 so i really don't have any problem here you can look at that whenever i take scooters or motorcycles for review i give them to tall riders as well to check the seat height to check the comfort and all so on this one even tall all riders are much comfortable so the head portion of the scooter is a bit on to a taller side and that's really good for tall riders and the seat on the scooter is much comfortable it's very wide you see that this is one of the widest seat that i've seen with any of the scooter and the ergonomics is also fine sitting and holding onto the handlebar is much comfortable because you have the handlebar over here and it's much comfortable and one good thing which i found about the scooter is the under seat space so let's unlock the scooter by the way it's a keyless entry there's not even a key module so everything is based on electronics all right you see that the under seat space is good i can comfortably keep my jacket as well as a decent size helmet over there and the grab rail is also fine so comfort wise it is good basically ola scooters are much more on the technology side they offer a lot i'm not going to walk you through all the things that is associated with the scooter i'll give you the important information which is required so let's walk through the other things first i will talk about the battery and the range when we go for the riding so first of all let's talk about the front tire so the tires are actually giving good grip i didn't had any problem and the suspension are also behaving very well even in very very bad roads the suspension is on to a softer side and it gives you a lot of comfort no stability issues absolutely working fine and the brakes are also good what i feel is that the scooter is much faster now in the sense this can pull like a super bike in the sense i'll say that an abs could have been a welcome feature otherwise the braking is also good the footboard is actually a curved design initially i thought this is going to be a trouble for tall riders also but not really i was finding a sweet spot and i was able to comfortably sit on the motorcycle even tall riders were also comfortable in sitting there this front headlight actually looks very nice but the visibility is not that great in pitch dark it is okay we can see that if it's on a main road with a lot of traffic then the headlight visibility is not that great but okay and coming over here we can see the speakers over there so that is a multi-purpose speaker you can connect your bluetooth and have songs and all personally i don't like that but it's okay it's a feature and also you can set the theme and uh, have a motoring sound and also i personally i am also not using that i prefer to run it with no sound mode and the drive belt is actually smaller so there is very less running noise so that's also good now let's talk about the experience under so previously what ola faced is the ola was actually delivering motorcycles by submitting your orders online so they deliver it to your home now they have experience centers so there is a, always a different feel of personally feeling the vehicle so now we get that as i mentioned i got an invite to ola experience center and hence i requested the scooter now ola has more than 200 plus experience centers across india and this number is going to be 500 very soon and also now you can book a test ride from the ola electric app walk in feel the scooter and book the scooter personally actually all variants of ola scooter with color options are available in the display there when i went there if the documents are clean you can get it delivered quickly in a day time like 24 hours time but maybe if the demand is more then probably this might not be possible there can be a slight delay as well and you can drop off your ola scooter at the same service center for regular service and it'll be done in the same day also ola has subscription services like ola care and ola care plus with which actually customers get benefits like free labor on service theft assistant helpline roadside assistance puncture assistant annual comprehensive diagnosis free home service pick up and drop and all those things and also the experience and the person will help you in clearing the doubts on the documentation for purchase finance options and everything you need to know when you buy a scooter also there is a little bit of history walkthrough done when we go to the ec the showroom person will help in explaining how it started and about the ola rides that happened at imajal also also i got to know that ola has a factory in krishnagiri tamil nadu which is the ola future factory that can actually produce thousand scooters every day also with ola's hypercharger network which covers 27 states the customer can get a 50 km range in 15 minutes there is an option for this hypercharging option in every experience center and one more thing actually if you are booking the scooter in the month of february 2023 you can get some goodies if you mention my name like the code is strellanola 
Apart from this, there is a discount of 10k off on S1 Pro and 50% off on Ola Care plans. So now let's come back to the review. So we'll go for a ride and I'll talk about the feel of riding it and battery and rest of the things. Alright, so I'm in the middle of the highway. So let's go for a ride. So this has three riding modes, normal, sport and hyper. So let's put out the hyper mode and let's pull it hard. So this thing is much faster. The scooter is actually powerful. Even in normal mode, I can feel that the scooter is actually powerful. This is in the cruise control mode. So I've just made it onto the cruise control. So it's gliding by itself. So yes, uh, let's come back to the point. So it's powerful. In the hyper mode, actually, this just shoots like a rocket. Even the sport mode is also like that. The normal mode is actually a little more tameable and has got a little bit of lag so that it is more beginner friendly. But this is very powerful. And let's come back to the uh, charging cycle, actually. So the charging actually takes around six to seven hours to complete 100% in normal charges, like the charger which we get when we buy the scooter. But with the hyper charger, as already mentioned, in 15 minutes, we can get a 50 kilometer range. And also the range which has been told by OLA is pretty seems to be accurate because if you are throttling in the correct way one thing which I found after riding this scooter for this long is that there is a way to ride uh, electric scooter it's not like the petrol scooters like we just gas it on and uh, it goes like that we have to be a little more leaner on the throttle then it gives a lot of uh, mileage in the sense a lot of battery range so this gives more than 100 kilometer range in 100 percent charge that means one percent is literally equal to one kilometer so i was testing that in normal mode if you're putting cruise control on you are getting more than one one kilometer in one person and also i've given the scooter to someone who is actually riding an electric scooter for the first time and he actually used the throttle more and got to know that the range has been decreased less but it was not drastically low so the range wise i'll say that this is much more accurate as well and also there is one calculation which has been put forward by ola itself that the running cost of this scooter so when compared to a normal scooter to run one kilometer this cost around 16 paise so if you compare this with a uh, petrol scooter it will be like 2.5 rupees these figures don't look greater when we see on a bigger picture uh, how much we can run with 100 rupees in the current scenario the scooter can even go up to 640 kilometer based on the electricity bill and all but when it comes to a normal scooter it is around 40 kilometer it's like calculating everything the maintenance the annual wear and tear everything with an ev there is a lot of advantage so if you are planning and uh, if you're planning to buy a new scooter and you wanted to look forward for a uh, long usage then it's better to choose EV personally I feel that this is a very decent scooter I really like it in a way that the quality is also good so if you ask me if you are looking for a comfortable scooter for a tall rider definitely this one is very good and also if you want a lot of technology related stuff then also this is a good buy I haven't explained all the technology related stuff on this scooter because I've touched upon all the essential things there's a keyless entry assist it's like you enter the passcode and uh, you start riding not like the normal key system and you can have a proximity key system as well where you can pair up your phones bluetooth on this one and once you're near the scooter is actually unlocked so you can have those kind of features also on the scooter and there's a heel hold assistance in the sense if you are in a slanting parking or if you come to a stand after a ride and all you have heel assist so that the scooter don't go back so there are a lot of stuff like that i don't want to walk you through all the things i just walked you through all the things which i felt when i was riding it like a user and if you ask me if i found any negatives with the motorcycle honestly nothing great few things which i have already told us the indicator switch they would have made like a switch rather than a button and second thing is yeah absence of abs well i can consider uh, having an abs for the scooter because it's much powerful and it deserves an abs and another one thing is like when i close the boot space then there were some hiccups happening at times because it's electronically closed so once you close it at times it was not showing that it has been closed otherwise there is absolutely no issues with the scooter I've after riding this long and uh, pretty happy with the usage so that's it if you have any doubts on the scooter do let me know in the comment section oh, and hope this video is helpful for you and as always show some love in the form of likes and comments see you in the next video until then bye bye